Did you guys have any imaginary friends growing up? I did. I mean, I, hell if I remember their names. I, I don't remember their names whatsoever, which kind of sucks, but I definitely remember having one. I don't even remember who he was. I honestly, I think, I think one of my, I think my imaginary friends are really the spy kids, Jimmy Cortez and Carmen, Car Carmen and then, uh, blah, 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 Cortez, <laughs> whatever her full name is. I think those are my imaginary friends because I love the spy kids so much, but they still count. But uh, regardless, we got a movie about ifs. So let's get to the review. Hey guys, it's your guy in the chair here, and look, this is my review of If, starring Kaylee Fleming, I believe her name is, Ryan Reynolds, John Krasinski, Steve Carell, and it was directed by John Krasinski, and our story follows a young girl who, after a certain point losing her mother, she is moving in with her grandmother due to her dad being in the hospital at the time, and she starts to rediscover her imaginary friend's world because Ryan Reynolds and all these other imaginary friends start to come back into her life. And she essentially realizes that she has to help them. Help them find purpose again. Help them find a place to go. Help them find what makes imaginary friends so special. And uh, that's probably the best way I can describe this plot because I'm going to be really honest with you guys. The plot is kind of messy. It's kind of just really just all thrown together. Just It's just surrounded by what I consider an actually very imaginative and very pretty cool concept, if, I won't, if I'm being honest. Um, imaginary friends, like, those are a very pivotal port, um, sorry, a very pivotal part in a lot of kids' lives. And honestly, as we get older, we kind of start to lose that sense of imagination and that sense of childlike fun that we used to have. And honestly, I like the whole message that this thing ha had about even when you're older, you're still going to need your imaginary friends. I mean, hey, it's to keep that, you know, that childlike life inside you alive. And I, I dig that. I, I really dug that message that this movie had to portray. It's just, like I said, the plot was pretty sloppily put together. And then on top of that, it's just it's not that interesting of a movie. It uh, it has its moments for sure. It has entertaining moments, but it, it's as a cohesive, flowing mov movie. It's just pretty okay. If I'm being completely honest with you, look. As far as what I liked about the film, the star of this entire thing is Kaylee Fleming, the little girl who played B. She was amazing. I was actually thoroughly surprised about how well she was doing in the movie. I actually think she really did a lot of the backpacking in this movie, and that's saying a lot because Ryan Reynolds is in this movie as well. She is doing a lot of the backpacking, though, and that's mainly due to the fact that kids are the focal point of Imaginary Friends, and so it's really based around her a lot. But she's really doing a great job with the material she's given. Not that the material she's given is crap, but it's just, like I said, the plot is all over the place at some point in time. But she is really doing a great job at keeping this thing entertaining, keeping her character at least interesting. Uh, the uh, that's the best way I can describe it. She, like her character is one of the more interesting parts of the movie itself, and I truly enjoyed her dynamic throughout the film. I enjoyed her interaction with the imaginary friends. I truly enjoyed her character itself. And beyond that, Ryan Reynolds, he's great. I mean, he's Ryan Reynolds. He's 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 charming, funny, witty. He's Ryan Reynolds. Like he like he knows what to do in roles like this, and he does it to a T. Plain and simple. The Imaginary Friends. I'm not gonna lie, Steve Carell's character was kind of annoying at times, but he made me laugh sometimes. Like I said, there, there are a lot of moments in this movie. There are entertaining moments, there are funny moments, there are heartwarming, heartwarming moments, there are emotional moments, there are not really sad moments, but there are just moments in this movie. They don't necessarily add up to what I would consider a special experience, more so just a very mid to average experience, but an experience nonetheless. Look, one of my favorite imaginary friends in this movie was Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Uh, I don't remember the character that she, uh, the name of her character, and for whatever reason, oh, her name is Blossom. Yeah, she was amazing. Brad Pitt played Keith? What? He did the Deadpool thing again. He was the invisible, he, he was the invisible guy in fucking Deadpool too. Now he played the invisible uh, imaginary friend. He played Keith? Dude, Brad Pitt is awesome. That's that's amazing. Richard Jenkins played the art teacher. I knew I knew that voice before. Okay, 
the voice casting is awesome. If, if, as you can see by me finding out who's playing these, some of these imaginary friends. The voice acting was awesome. The imaginary friends concept was really cool. And I really enjoyed all, damn near all, of the imaginary friends themselves. I knew that was Bradley Cooper as well. I knew Bradley Cooper was <laughs> the guy in the ice. That was funny. Um, but like I said, guys, this movie just really has a lot of moments. It's not really anything too special. I, I honestly didn't really have much expectations for this movie going in. I really just saw the trailers and I was like, okay, it's okay. Like, we'll, we'll see what it's about. And my reaction leaving the theater was still that same, just, okay. Like, I, uh, it's, it's cool. It's, it's, it's a movie for sure. I'm not going to lie to you, though. John Krasinski's character in the film, while he is the father, not going to lie to you, I, I don't think John Krasinski essentially needed to play that role. Um... I felt like that could have gone to somebody else, although he was very entertaining in the way he portrayed the dad. I thought he was a very cool dad, but um, I don't I don't know. I, I really thought maybe Asian Jim could have took over. Well, that probably would have made any sense because the little girl's not Asian, but um, may, maybe somebody else could have just played that role. I, I true. OK, maybe this might not make sense to anybody else, but I truly just really felt like her dad's role in this movie was kind of pointless. Like, I, I do understand his point because it's a reflection of what she went through with her mother and now her dad's in the hospital too and she's having to deal with that and his illness but it, it's like that whenever we kept going back to that storyline that part of the movie that was really the most non-interesting part of the movie for me and the most interesting parts were when she was with the imaginary friends trying to give them life trying to give them meaning again and that's where this movie really found its most special parts but it just doesn't necessarily focus on that throughout the film itself like i said the plot is really just kind of mashed together just surrounded by a really cool concept and they really are letting this concept do most of the work in this film itself um but it's in, it's entertaining at at times uh it's it's also pretty slow at times it, it's just a lot it's it's a lot of mid going on in this movie i'm not gonna lie to you it's it's truly just something that you will look back on at the end of the year and go oh that did come out this year that that's just what this will be it's it's not really anything special i wish it would have been more special the little girl in this movie kaylee fleming i am hoping to see her in a lot more projects because she was really good ryan reynolds is ryan reynolds deadpool and wolverine come out in july so of course can't wait for that but look overall if was a very good concept type of movie where the concept is cool and the message that they went for was cool it just didn't work out as far as the execution goes and that seems to be the theme of this weekend where i saw the tv glow while having a great message had very poor execution or mid execution in my opinion uh the strangers the strangers had terrible execution and just little to no effort whatsoever about the concept and then you have if which is just cool concept cool message it's pretty mid everything else and look for all those reasons and so many more guys i'm going to give if a 2.5 out of five stars all right guys so if have you seen it what did you think about it look guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it be sure to like share subscribe all that good stuff and so much more. Look, thank you so much for watching. This is your guy in the chair. More content coming to you soon.